everyone wants to make their images look perfect. Before we start editing, the first step is to take a moment and identify the changes you actually want to make. There are tons of edits you can make to an image, from enhancing the colors to cropping the edges. But in this tutorial, we're going to focus on one of the most essential edits you can make, adjusting the lighting. Take a look at the lighting in this photo. Is there anything you'd like to change about it? You might have noticed that the entire photo looks pretty dark, making it hard to see details in the skater's clothes and the buildings around him. We can fix this by adjusting the image's brightness, which can either lighten or darken the image. So let's make this happen. We'll start by adding a brightness and contrast adjustment layer to the image. Since the photo looks too dark, we're going to increase the brightness, making the entire photo lighter and the details more visible. Suddenly, the skater's clothes pop out from the background, and this looks much better, right? If you need to make an image lighter or darker, the brightness and contrast adjustment layer is a great place to start. Another reason to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer is right there in the name. Contrast. Contrast is another related aspect of lighting, but what does changing it really do? Let's look at another example to see contrast in action. You might notice the details in this image look a little bit flat and washed out. This is where contrast comes into play. Watch what happens when we add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and move the contrast slider to the right. Notice how the dark areas get darker while the bright areas get brighter, making the entire image punchier. This is the essence of contrast. The bigger the difference between the dark and the bright areas, the more dramatic your photo is going to look, and we love a photo with drama. Just for comparison, let's move the contrast slider back towards the left. Notice how this makes the image look extremely flat. This is because we've decreased the amount of difference between the dark and light areas. There is no right or wrong way to use contrast. Sometimes a high contrast image like this is exactly what you want. It has super dark shadows and bright highlights, giving the image an intense dramatic feel. Or sometimes a low contrast image like this may be the look you're going for. Notice there are no extreme black or white tones, only soft shades of gray, which can feel calming. Whatever style you're going for, brightness and contrast adjustments will help you fine tune the lighting in your image. You'll often use both brightness and contrast adjustments together, so don't forget to explore both options while you're editing. So let's recap. Adjusting lighting is one of the most common edits you can make, and you can adjust the brightness and the contrast to get the style that you want. So now, it's your turn to step up and practice adjusting lighting on your own images. 